Many of you struggle to not feel defeated by the narcissist. See, with all of their manipulative tricks, all the gaslighting and everything that they do, they always seem to be 10 steps ahead of you. And by the time that you realize what's going on, guess what? It's too late. You've already taken the bait. OK. And if you leave the narcissist and they love bomb you to get you to come back, the hope is always the same. Maybe this time will be different. Maybe they've changed. And I'm finally going to be happy for real this time just to discover what? No, you got taken again. See, dealing with a narcissist is like gambling in Vegas. See, we all have heard the phrase, the house always wins. See, their job, though, is to sell you the dream. All right. And make you believe ah, everyone, everybody has the same chance to win. You can win millions. OK, see, they got you out here doing what you blowing on dice. <sighs> OK, you got your fingers crossed. You got a rabbit's foot and you praying all at the same time. All right. And what most people do, what most people do is when they win, what do they do? They gamble it all the way. All right. See, the house is counting on you to do just that. They want you to want more and more and more. OK, something tells you, listen, stop while you're ahead. But it's too addictive. You can't do it. Just like when you leave a narcissist, something says don't go back. They haven't changed, but you still take a chance. You still want to gamble your freedom away. Just like scripture says. All right. Talks about how a dog will go back to its vomit. Why do you want to do that? You got rid of it because something was wrong, because it didn't make you feel good because it was bad. Mm, but then you get the thought, hey, let's eat it again. The way that you truly win in Vegas is the same way that you win with a narcissist. Don't play to begin with. Don't play the game. OK, see, the deck is already stacked against you. They're not going to play fair to begin with. So if you don't participate, they can't manipulate. Come on, y'all say it with me. If you don't participate, they can't manipulate. See, no contact is always a winning strategy. A hundred percent of the time with the no, with the narcissist. See, they need the attention. So it causes them narcissistic injury when you don't give it to them. And if you have to have contact because maybe you have kids. Listen, gray rock is the way to go because you're showing no emotional response. It's the same as no contact. They have to get a response to win. When you don't give it to them, guess what? You win 100 percent of the time. But let me ask you this. Are you tired? of losing to the narcissist. Do you keep hoping this time uh, just might be different? And do you keep going back after you've gotten away? You're free. You're out. You're free. OK, but you keep going back. If so, you know what to do. Go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. Schedule your free 30 minute consultation so I can tell you how coaching can help you win, 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 no matter what. OK, when it comes to the narcissist. Also, ladies, join me every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my closed Facebook group, The Diamond Mind. You can go to my website to find out how to join. Also, we're talking about the things that matter to you the most. OK, listen, recently we just talked about the fear of dating a good man. I know it sounds a bit like an oxymoron, right? You think if, if the man is good, why would I be afraid? But here is the deal. If you're not ready, if you're not ready the good, it will feel bad because it's unfamiliar. OK. And it could cause you to sabotage the relationship. OK. If you don't want this to happen, check out that live and um, find out how to guard yourself against it. Hey, I got to get out of here. Y'all take care. Hey, if you like the material, make sure you subscribe so I can keep these videos coming to you. I got to get out of here. Peace.